Welcome back. Let's dial in the play field, put it back together and have some fun. Okay, from where we left off before, I went back and made sure I dialed everything in. What do I mean by that? Well, all the spoons that the wafers run on, I made sure they're exactly at zero right here. You'll see anything that has the opportunity to short or touch metal. I made sure that it's been protected. Those are uh, just shrink wrap tubing. And just a general once over to make sure everything is tight and everything moves free. So the pops pop up and down without any, uh, anything hitting them or stopping them from moving. And also remember this is wood. It's going to swell. It's going to shrink. Make sure everything is nice and tight so nothing falls apart when you're playing it. These look fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put the play field back together. Uh, it's going to be very simple. Take from here, add to here. And uh, yeah, we'll record some of the process, but uh, I won't uh, want to get too crazy with it. I will definitely bring you back when we dial in the flippers. And if anything else interesting comes up, I will uh, turn you guys back on. Okay, other than uh, some fidgeties with the pops uh, everything's going on eventful now we're coming to put down the rails and what we're going to find is these rails are way thicker than those holes i'm saying rails but i really mean ball guides best thing to do is to get a drill bit that is just slightly undersized of the rail so let me pull the rail out and i'll show you how we're going to get this done okay the first thing we're going to do is locate the holes and make sure that what we're putting in is proper so you can see here first of all this hole is not even drilled but our wire form is too long so i'm just going to gently bend it This one's not quite square. Okay. okay, that one's on the money. And that one's just a little bend. Take a drill bit, make sure it's, this is just a tad bit undersized. So first thing I want to do, is just going to do it by hand, just enough, <laughs> basically to break the clear coat. And again, do it by hand, reverse forward, whatever works. Same here. Do yourself a favor, don't miss. There we go. So just so you know, these go right through the play field. And this one actually ends up right above the uh, flipper surround, or the, the flipper base plate, I should say.
Okay. Okay, perfect. Let me set you up and we'll drive inside. Okay, what I have is a hammer and some balls. You can always adjust these, okay, but that's where the ball's riding. Why well, you adjust them, just bang them down. Okay, rinse and repeat for the other sides. And I'll bring you back when we start with the flippers, which is gonna be fun. I'm sure you can come up with something a little bit more scientific, but let's dial in the flipper now. So here's the deal. This is the plate. And if you look, there's a lot of play here. Okay, so what our goal is to, well, first of all, you wanna make sure that this thing is, uh, it's gotta be parallel to the play field, but like on a 90 degree angle. So it's gotta be straight up and down. You know what I think I'll do? I'll put a straight edge there just to make sure it's there, but then here's what we got going on here. So on this side, all I did was graft it on something straight. Okay, yes, that's straight, believe it or not. So if we look at it, here's what we're trying to do. Like right there, it's, it's perfect. So if the flipper is down here, see the play we got? So we just want to touch that so if it's down here it's a little too far so what's going to happen is when the ball travels up you get that bump or when the ball comes down when it follows the the lane on some badly set up games so that like the ball will travel down here and there'll be a step down to the flipper so we're trying to get it uh, to be parallel so believe it or not right there is no oh, maybe not okay that's parallel right there just barely touching okay i'm gonna lock it in oh, we're not even close to being all right let's just slightly lock it in that way let's see what we got <laughs> hold on here Just straighten the flipper a bit. Let's see right there. As long as we're 90 here. Okay, let's tie you down. Yep, that's where we're going. Okay, we're going to try that. And that's good. So I'm just going to 
there's no way I'm going to be able to screw this in without that moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some new center, make some holes with the center punch. What you do is just push and there's a nice indent. So I'll do that for the four up there. I'm having difficulties putting it places. So let me try it here. Okay, so this should work. And if we look here, and we pop the four holes, the four screws that are, and then we just have to adjust the flipper now. But it should hopefully be mission accomplished. Okay, yeah, so we should have a nice transition from lane holder or whatever you call that thing to the flipper. That looks like it's right on the money. Okay, rinse and repeat on the other side. Uh, then after that, we're going to, we'll set the flippers up. We'll put the, uh, all the ball guides and stuff over here. Uh, just give it the once over and then maybe take it on its maiden voyage. What do you guys think? We'll, we'll power it up live and we'll see how how it goes. You like this duct tape technique, eh? Okay, we are done. I put the flippers in. Again, I have a um, video on how to set up valley flippers, so if you want to look at that it'll give you complete detail i also adjusted all the switches okay so now uh when everything rolls over the switches sure all work but we'll do that when we fire it up and i've completed the play field so i'm going to get this out i'm going to put it in a carcass and we're going to fire it up for the first time and see how it goes okay I have a play field and a carcass, so we're going to bring this up piece by piece. So what I've attached are the play field and the cabinet connectors to the power supply, but I'm not attaching not the other parts of the power supply, nor am I attaching anything onto the boards. So let's see what happens here. So this hopefully the general illusion uh, the general illumination lights will come on so give me fuel give me fire give me double time desire ah yeah okay that's a good sign so just let it run for a second so again nothing else other than the gis have come on yeah i'm pretty happy so this is the proverbial you know, um, only needs a fuse if you go to buy a game that just lights up and doesn't do anything. This is exactly what's going on. So let me, okay, I think we're good to go for the next step anyway. So let's see what, uh, let's see what's going to happen. So let me put you on hold and I'll bring you back. Okay, we've plugged it all in. Bottom board, whole nine yards. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Let's see what happens, hopefully. Okay, board should be booting up, I hope. Oh, yep. 
No word of a lie, ladies and gentlemen, this is a first boot. We are in attract mode. So let me hit the button here, see what's going on. Okay, this is not working. But everything else appears to be good. Okay, Russian, sorry about that. Let's turn her back on. The phone rang there, I got a phone call, so it uh, cut the video off, so we're back into it. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, lights. Everything works. I fiddled with the C, uh, fiddled with the bulbs, so we got it back on. Now we're gonna go through the solenoids, I think. No, displays. I knew we had a problem with number four and the credit. Okay, now we're into the switches. So I need, oh, inside the head. No, I don't know if it's gonna be there. Okay, let me come right back. We got 26 is stuck, so I gotta figure out what that is. Okay, I'll bring it right back. I'll fix one switch and then I'll just show you how to do it. So it says 26. So we look at the schematic. That's why I had to put you on hold to go find it. Top red targets and GP general purpose or multiple 100. So the general purpose, don't you see the top reds? Is this one? Yeah, you can see it's uh, close. Watch if I release. It'll go to the next one. You can see it there, All right? So I just have to adjust this. Top of the play field, I'm not too worried about. Adjusting switches. Okay, good. 26 on off. Good. Okay, now next 131, which is the left spinner. Okay, I'll have to figure that one out. I'll have to get underneath the play field for that. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go through that, and then we'll start a game up and see what happens. I'll bring it back. Okay, I found one gremlin. If you look, this rollover doesn't register, even though, I think you can see here, it's gapped properly. But watch what happens if I grab it from the base. So watch this. So this is active. See how it's waking up? I'm moving. So, see nothing by the switch, nothing by the switch, but again, okay, look, so the switch is activated. I'm moving the actual switch at the wire. Might have just broken, there we go. So we got a break. We have a break internally here. So I got to take this switch apart and see if I can find the culprit. Okay. Let's call it done. We're not going to play them. I just want to show you a few things. So, the test rollover switches and stuff use the ball. Not your finger, okay? The reason you want to use the ball is because the ball's curved. Just see how nicely I did one on the hook there? Oh, not that time. Watch. No bounce. Because we dialed the flipper in, remember?
goes right onto it. No like monster bounce when it hits here. So that was the advantage of uh, dialing in the flipper when we when we did it to move it to get it to line up perfectly straight. Game plays brilliantly. Looks fantastic. Love it. Got a pop. See how violent the pops are? One, because we polished the uh, shafts, right? The uh, bumpers. This thing plays fast. Okay. Yeah, no, I might, as well show you. I might as well show you what we did. So, put a new coin door, skin, redid the graphics on it, new side rails, redid the head. Back glass is not here because don't really need it for testing. And it came out brilliant. Really happy with this one. I got it on the table, just a little easier for me to maneuver it. Nice and clean inside. Just dialed. Can't wait to take the side rail plastics off and the door plastic. Oh, and then one last uh, attention to detail. Little button there's for the coin door. Um, right there. Pretty neat, eh? <laughs> if they didn't put that there, it would uh, leave a dent. And the door so when you see that button there you know what it's for and that will do it my russians uh channel is growing beautifully 420 subscribers at the last count uh this was definitely a lot of fun the play field swap but to be honest with you it's nerve-wracking too there's so many areas of opportunity for something to go wrong uh but half the fun is in my mind anyway is uh, troubleshooting them and fixing them and obviously playing them. So to that end, Russians, Rush fan over and out.